make a function table for that function, f of x equals negative 3x plus 7, for the given values, then state the domain and range of the function. This is great, because the domain and range is the hardest part of this problem. That's, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, we're going to go over it anyways, which is why we review, okay? By the way, they said to make a function table, but it's already made. So that makes it extremely convenient. But this is what it would look like if you had to make it. This middle column, radical, it's not really that important. It really just gives you space to do your work. So, And when you solve it, that's what your output is, right? Input is the x, output is the y, the f of x. So this first one, we've got a negative 3 times the x, which is negative of 1. And then we're going to add that to 7. You can put this into a, most calculators. But three time, negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, plus the 7. Bam, 10. That's our input is negative 1, output is 10. We're going to do the same thing in the second row, but instead of x, we're going to replace it with the x that we have from the table, which is 0. Negative 3 times 0 is, well, 0, plus the 7, and there we have our second value. So let's go and do this. Uh, the input is 1 and 2 there. All right, just like this. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 7. Well, that'd be 4. On that last row, we've got negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6 plus 7. 1. But we're not finished with this, because now we need the domain and the ranges. All right, the domains is, this is a set of numbers, so we have to use the fancy brackets. And the domains is just all of the x values, which is negative 1, 0, bam, there's our domains. This is just like a mapping. So if it does repeat, if any of the inputs or outputs repeat, then you would not list those numbers. But none of these repeat, so we have to list all of them. Next, let's do the range. There's our range. Supposed to be some deer and antelope there, right? So the outputs is the ranges. Domains is inputs, ranges outputs. Let's list those numbers. So we got a range 10, 7, 4, 1. There's a list of numbers. Once again, the input there are the domains. And the outputs are the ranges. See, 